Duke could be shelling out more cash to keep the lights on. Duke Energy Progress plans to propose a rate increase for Wake County and other parts of the state. Just yesterday, Duke Energy Carolinas announced an increased proposal of about $19 for its customers in central and western North Carolina. WRAL's Destiny Patterson tells us why the company believes that customers may actually understand why this price rate could be necessary. When you get your utility bill each month, it's made up of fuel rates and base rates. Well, just this week, Duke Energy Carolina has proposed a more than 16% increase for fuel rates. Like you kind of expect it to happen, but like on top of like rent increasing so much, it's just like at the end of the day, it's like how much money can they make? With them raising like the utility bill, it's like, it's just like a lot. People are already struggling. This will be a painful, increase to customers. Duke Energy Carolina's proposal will impact Durham County and other parts of Central and Western North Carolina. A residential customer using 1,000 kilowatt hours a month will see their bill go from $115 to about $134 by September. Customers in Wake County and parts of Eastern and Western North Carolina should brace themselves for a rate hike in early summer when Duke Energy Progress files its own fuel rate increase. The energy company emphasized that it will not profit from the increased fuel prices. Well aware of the increase in fuel costs last year. I mean, we know how much it costs to fill up our cars with gas. They won't like hearing it and they won't like any type of increase. I think they can understand where the increase came from. In a statement, a Duke Energy spokesperson said in part, quote, these reflect actual fuel costs. Customers pay what we pay, leading to increases in some years and decreases in others. It's not clear just how much of an increase Duke Energy Progress might propose in June, but we do know that Duke Energy Carolina's customers will be impacted as early as September 1st. Destiny Patterson, WREL News, Raleigh.